This is one of the world's most popular dry flies, and today I'm going to show you how to tie it. Start off with some olive thread, secure it to your hook shank, continue wrapping until you reach the bend of the hook, and as an optional step, grab some Zelon. We'll secure the Zelon to the back of the fly, snip the excess free, securing the excess tightly to the hook shank. With this complete, we'll advance our thread forward, snip the Zelon to length, and bring our thread forward to the head of the fly. Next, we'll grab some small wire. Here I'm using green. Secure it to our hook shank and wrap back towards our tail. We'll then grab some dubbing. Here I'm using a light green. Create a dubbing noodle and begin wrapping it forward in closed touching spirals. Continue tightening and adding dubbing as needed, stopping with a little bit of room at the head of the fly. You can either make a flat body if you prefer. However, I like to make mine into more of a cigar shape. Next, we'll grab our wire and begin to wrap it forward in open spirals until we reach our thread. This will help add some durability and segmentation to our dubbing. Secure by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind your wire and helicopter the excess free. We'll then grab some elk hair. Here I'm using olive, snip away a small clump and use a dubbing brush to remove all these small insulating hairs. Insert the hair into a hair packer this will ensure that all of our hair is the same length. Tap it lightly. Once complete, carefully remove from the hair packer, measure it to length, I like mine to be a bit longer than my hook, and secure it to the top of your hook shank. An easy way to do this is to start by taking a single loose wrap around your hair, followed by a few loose securing wraps, before cranking down and tightening it in place. Once you're assured that all your fibers are secured to the top of your fly, you can continue to add pressure and secure everything in place and wrapping it in between our tag ends. Pull all the fibers upwards and finish with your thread just behind your hook eye. Take a few wraps to push back your elk hair and whip finish to hold everything in place. We'll then grab a sharp razor and cut our tag ends away at about a 45 degree angle. And this is the X Caddis, a very popular dry fly especially if there's a lot of caddis in your waters. And as always, if you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.